Hi everyone, I'm Dominic, the co-founder of Chromatic, the company behind Storybook. Over the years, Storybook has grown into an industry standard. It's the secret weapon that smart teams use to develop, document, and test UIs. But how did we get here? In order to understand Storybook's vision of the future, let's take a look at key moments from our past. When I first started web development, I couldn't imagine the scale of modern websites. This site was the absolute best we could do back then. And if you can believe it, the sites I made were considerably more amateur. <laughs> so you can probably imagine my jaw dropping when Facebook passed 1 billion users. All of those users needed a unique profile page. That means some front end somewhere in the basement of Menlo Park had to support 1 billion pages at least. We used to build front ends one page at a time. It started with HTML, CSS, and a sprinkle of JavaScript. You'd spin up the full stack, the front end, the back end, and services if you were fancy. Then you'd click around in the app to go to a specific page in just the right state. You'd double check that everything worked in other browsers with a bunch of preferences and system settings applied. Once you were done, you'd repeat that process over and over again for all the other variations that you had to build. As the years went on though, the number of variations grew exponentially. So fast forward till now, and frontends are multiverse of UI state. There are tens of thousands of variations that you're responsible for developing, and that's if your frontend is small. The way we learn front-end development isn't suited for the scope of today's apps. I was first attracted to front-end development because there was a certain satisfaction in knowing real people actually touch your work. Like literally, they touch the buttons. That satisfaction has become kind of tougher to come by because front-ends just got heavier. All of a sudden, it was too slow to spin up the full stack. It was too clunky to click around and fill out forms manually. And it was just too cumbersome to fiddle with all the little UI bits to get to the UI in the right state. That's when Storybook came along. Storybook started as a tool for developing components in isolation. The superpower of components is that you don't need to spin up the full app stack just to see how they render. You can render a specific variation in isolation by passing in props, mocking data, or simulating events. Since modern UIs are component-driven, everything from button to page is actually a component under the hood. Storybook's key innovation was detaching components from your app so you could work on all of their variations and then save them as stories. Over time, it became clear that Production UIs, well, they also need documentation. <laughs> Nothing's worse than coming back to old code and trying to load it into your brain all while juggling a deadline. That's why Storybook expanded to support rich documentation in Markdown and MDX. You could finally see how a component looked and learn how it worked side by side. This is also around the time when design systems were exploding in popularity. And with these UI documentation features, Storybook was in the right place at the right time to become the industry standard for developing those design systems. By now, more and more teams were adopting Storybook. And a big part of that was using stories and docs to share key states with other stakeholders. That sped up internal review with developers, designers, and PMs because everyone could finally reference the same UI. No more, it looks okay on my machine. We decided to take teamwork one step further as well. By embedding stories in other workflows, we realized that teams could reference the, that production UI when designing or product planning upstream of development which ended up leading to fewer questions like, what's that UI look like again? We then realized the missing link between development and documentation was testing. 
flipped out, right? If you're gonna build a UI without testing it, it's going to break. In 7.0, we're building on top the best tools in the industry to launch browser-based component testing. Jan's gonna talk more about that later. We're here today to celebrate the new superpowers you'll get in Storybook 7. It's our biggest release in two years. And we believe that Storybook improves the UX of the internet. If you've paid bills, booked a hotel, ordered takeout, read the news, or submitted a form to a government office, I guarantee you, you've used something that was built with Storybook. What's more, there's never been a better time to be a part of this community. 17,000 developers list Storybook on their resumes right now. And if you're one of them, know that your skills are portable to thousands of other companies that have standardized their front-end workflow on Storybook. 